As the industry forerunner, PECO has the responsibility of creating and developing solutions that outlast any challenge and circumstance. PECO's Delta Beam Composite Beam is compatible with timber and precast slabs, as well as any other type of slab. As using CLT slabs grows in popularity, a fire test with various hybrid details has been needed to confirm the fire-resistant properties of Delta Beam Composite Beam in hybrid structures. Offering savings in both cost and time, fireproofing is already integrated into Delta Beam. Fire rebars and webs act as tensile reinforcement in the event of a fire. A 90-minute test with loading has now been completed with Delta Beam, as well as a charring test. The purpose of the tests was to show that the interface between Delta Beam and Timber 4 can transfer loads in the fire conditions, in edge and intermediate beam situations. My name is Juuso Salonen and I'm responsible of our Delta Beam frame business in Peikko, Finland. We have made a fire test uh, regarding the way how the slab works with Delta Beam in fire situation and proved that uh, our design concept works. In the fire test we had an 8 meter long CLT slab that was supported by delta beam. There was a load that represents 1.7 kN per square meter dead load and 5 kN per square meter live load. These loads typically represent quite high shopping mall loads or, or high office loads, uh, which are the type of structures that could be used with CLT slab. Test samples were no, in no way fireproofed from below and uh, was no structural top concrete uh, on top of the CLT slab or on top of delta beam. The delta beam was of course casted with concrete. We burned the structure for 90 minutes. According to the measurement data from the charring test and observations during demolishment after the 90 minute fire test, the delta beam ludge has a protecting effect concerning the charring depth development. It has no negative impact on the charring rate of the CLT panel. Based on the results, transverse reinforcement anchored to the grooves of timber slab ties the beam and slab together and secures the load transfer, as assumed in the delta beam design. The delta beam temperatures during the charring test were clearly on the safe side, comparing to the design temperatures used in delta beam design. As a result, the interface between delta beam and timber floor does transfer loads in the fire conditions for increased safety. In total, we can say now that the test was a real success uh, and we now have a proof for future projects that our way of designing this kind of structure works. With PECO and delta beam in your team, your project will be faster, safer and more sustainable. Also, in case of fire.